All right, welcome back. This is M-Dog, and we are checking out some bass fishing here in Fishing Planet. We're at the uh, the Everglades. Let's take a look here. This is a well-known bass fishing uh, location here, the Infinity Tunnels, specifically that part of the Everglades. Uh, obviously, we're fishing here in an optimal time. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our setup. Uh, first of all, we've been I've done this a couple days in a row. Here's day two, catching a few bass. Uh, at, at my level in Fishing Planet, which, you know, I'm... I'm off and on with this game right but you know at this point being this high level um bass isn't going to really move the bar very much in terms of xp but what it does still do is provide decent decent money uh decent money reward so i just wanted to uh come check this out see if it was still uh, a good a good spot and from testing out some things for a couple days i feel like it is i'm using the uh Farcast, farcaster 260 sport which does go up to uh eight kilos on line weight we're using the helios 2000s sport in terms of the uh, bait casting reel i don't know if people i'm not sure about the meta in fishing planet if people mostly are sticking to spinning setup still but I, you know, I've got a hodgepodge of gear from playing it off and on over the years. So I, this looked like this would work good. So this is kind of what I've, what I've settled on. We are using six kilo line, uh, which gives us a little bit of a fighting chance against the trophies and uniques. Not that you couldn't bring them in on lower level gear. I think you probably could, but it just will take a really long time potentially. So I uh, feel more comfortable on, on this, this level line. Smaller fish, yeah, we're probably not going to get full XP. But like I said, we're not getting good XP anyway. Um, but trophy and, and bigger, uh, I think we're getting full XP using this setup. And I've been really going with the... Um, oh, why is the phone ringing? I think it's because... Is it because of this? Good times. Uh, I've been enjoying going with the uh, 28 gram bass jig. You do want the four out hook if you're high enough level to get those. I think that probably helps with the uh, with the size of the bass. Using the orange, um, the 42 gram also works, but I've kind of liked the 28 gram better, uh, just because you can get a little more movement. I tell you what, I even like better is the 14 gram 40 hook. But I'm pretty sure that was a DLC or a request reward for something. I'm not sure that's something you can just straight up go in the shop and purchase. Um, we'll see what they have here. So if we go 40 hook size, yeah, it's all. This is the this is the you know obviously the Everglades store, so it's not not as good as the full store. Um, but anyway, this is the setup we're using. We'll go ahead and just throw the orange, brown orange, and maybe we'll switch it up a little bit. So I do have it on uh, three speed retrieval. Let's see if we can get y'all a, a bass. I'm not gonna say it's every cast. It certainly isn't, but probably every other cast. Um, so we'll do, you can do two, two speed or three speed, I think. Uh, I'm tending to go with stop and go, but I've also caught them on twitching. So maybe we'll do a little bit of both real quick. See if we can get a couple fish in for you. I don't know why. Sometimes I can get that that uh, third circle of the stop and go. Sometimes it's a little tougher. Oh, oh! I think we missed it. Yeah, we missed that one. There we go. Yeah, and sometimes I think it's the weight of the lure. Just kind of, it's just probably with time I'll get more used to it on getting the more consistent three bar and by the way you want to keep that stop and go going all the way in um all the way in some of the bass i've caught have been like right in front of me all right this time let's go let's go three speed but let's do twitching this time i think twitching just looks a little weird when you're going at three speed i think i kind of like twitching at two speed stop and go at three speed but I'll keep it at three here with twitching. Just see if we hit something. We probably will. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's a little something's pretty small, I think. Maybe a little peacock or a regular size largemouth. It's just not very big. One thing you do have to watch on bass, like the one thing, is they change direction so much. Yeah, it's just a little fella. Actually, it looks like it's just a regular largemouth, doesn't it? 
they change direction so much that they will um, get off the line by ha building up tension. So you need to be like in a position where you can, um, you know, quickly hit right click to bring the line up or, you know, move it back over your shoulder or whatever, just to get that. Let's do stop and go again. Just to get that, um, that tension off the line. You want to keep it nice and tight as much as possible. If you just give bass a second, they will, uh, they'll pop off the line. So I try to always be ready uh, to make the adjustment as fast as I can. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I almost didn't react fast enough. So like here, I want to keep it right in front of me. And if it does switch positions, ooh, look at that thing jumping in there. If it does switch positions, I can go ahead and um, and adjust so that it uh, so that it comes in correctly. All right, so there's a couple of bass. Let's go ahead and switch it up. Let's try a different lure. Let's go with the trophy bass jig just for fun. It's still a 4-0 hook, but it's a much lighter jig. Much lighter. It's so funny. So I'm logged into RF4, as you saw earlier. And uh, we're going to start with stop and go, by the way. I think with this size lure, I can much more consistently hit that three, that, uh, three bars on the stop and go which means a um, little bit more effective getting those fish bites really quickly. I think just the weight, this, this bass jig is a lot lighter. So with this setup, I'm getting a lot more movement on it. And um, I think that's what, maybe what I don't like about the 40 gram ones. It feels like they just sink to the bottom. And even on three speed, it's hard to get in this shallow water, get any movement. So... And my goodness, if you're like level 18, 20, whatever, I think you can come here at 18, right? Uh, I don't know what kind of gear you can necessarily buy at that level, but if you can get some decent gear, I'd say at least, oh, let's see. So this is six kilo. You at least want three, four kilo, right? Between three and four kilo, I would say, line. Uh, any less than that, you're just going to be miserable on some of these larger bass. These are pretty decent sized bass. I mean, the unique we caught earlier was, uh, yeah, it's almost five kilos. So it's just a, you get to be some pr pretty big bass in, down here in the Everglades. But, um, what I love about it is just the amount of money you can make again, especially if you're a little lower or mid level seems like a solid solid place to come and just uh i mean to me it's a blast first of all fishing for bass like this uh and i'm definitely like one of the things i'm thinking about is just from playing this game for so long i've got quite a few of the like coins built up not the dollars but the like currency that you typically would have to buy but you get them for like quest rewards or if you ever get a dlc they usually throw in a few bait coins or whatever they're called uh, i'm actually thinking about it's not that expensive it's not that many coins to unlock the permanent advanced license for this place kind of thinking about doing that that time that, that way anytime i want to fish for these bass it's uh yeah so like i have 1500 i think it's only maybe 180 or something to unlock the permanent license here, the advanced license. I can't see it because I've got one active, but I think that's the case. So, um, so yeah, I, I just really like it. Um, and one thing I want to figure out, apparently you can fish for, is it gar on a float setup? Oh, I'm doing stop and go. I meant to do Twitch again. Uh, I'll do Twitch after this one. I think you can float fish for gar like right off of this pier. So I don't know what that would be like to try to have a float in the water for gar at the same time as bass fishing. But because I, my background is Russian fishing four, I've played way more RF four than I have fishing planet. And so the idea of having multiple rods out at the same time, even when I'm spin fishing just appeals to me. So I do kind of want to test that to see 
how viable that option is. Just be a little bit more action packed. Uh, maybe a little too action packed at times, a little chaotic, but kind of want to check that out and see. All right, let's try twitching one more time and then we'll wrap this up. But all that be all that being said, I just am really. Um, it had been a long time since I had fished for bass in this game, so I'm just really excited to see that this spot is still really good and um, just, yeah, that, that it still pays really well. This is still a viable, ooh, that's a good one. Hopefully, hopefully it's a, at least a trophy. I can't tell yet though. A lot of them will pull initially like he did, but then once you kind of settle them in, they come right in. So this might not quite be a trophy. Just under trophy size, it looks like. Still a decent one, but I think it's going to be a regular one in terms of... So 1.89 kilos. Pretty fish, though. So fun to catch these bass. So you can see if it's regular size, we're getting, you know, almost no XP, but we are getting normal XP on the trophies and up, which is nice. I us throw a little bit over to the right here. We're going to do, let's try to catch one more fish and then I'll wrap it up. I'll do twitching again. Twitching seemed to work good on that one. Again, I've liked stop and go a little better, but last couple fish we've hit twitching pretty easily. So let's see how this goes. If we don't catch one here, I'm going to change lures again. Let's look at a third lure. Maybe I'll twitch a 42 gram one. Yeah, let's try let's try twitching a 42 gram one. So 42 gram. Let's go with this pumpkin melon. We'll see how this one goes. I really hope y'all cannot hear the bells in the background. They're very slight for me. It's like I'm standing halfway across the map at Octuba. I thought there was no way it was going to catch the bells, but I can still hear them just slightly. It's what I get for being logged into more than one fishing game at the same time. See how the weight of this thing, it just sinks to the bottom. Like you're just dragging it on the bottom. Ah, we had like an extended bite there, but I didn't notice it. I think the other issue is, I think I have the game sounds on Fishing Planet turned way down. All right, I'll try stop and go this time. Look how it's just hardly budging. We're just... Just pulling that across the bottom. Now we're starting to get that angle where it's wanting to lift up a little bit. Come on. Oh, there we go. Right in front of us. Little peacock. Sometimes the peacocks are a little closer in. Uh, and the large mouths are a little farther out. All right, 42 gram. Do I have another 42 gram or is that the only one I brought? It's the only one I brought. Let's try the uh, acid yellow brown. Now this is a 28 gram. Cast it way out there and we'll do some stop and go. And if we don't get something this time, we'll do uh, twitching. Next fish, we'll wrap it up though.
Man. I looked away for a second. Let's twitch it. Let's twitch it. So unlike the 42 gram, the 28 gram does sort of move in the water a little better. There we go. Well, it's not going to be a unique, but um, at least we got to see some bass together. Again, this spot is just really fun. I, I kind of want to get some different baits out. Try a buzz bait. Try some, maybe a popper or something. I really want to try some different things here. I just am really liking the bass fishing, though. And we're, uh, we're getting fairly close to a bass master achievement. I'm curious if I'm going to get some sort of reward for that. A lot of those quests and rewards and stuff have been added since since I really played Fishing Planet much. But Okay, anyway, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, let me know if you have some uh, secrets to uh, fishing for bass here. If you have a favorite lure. Like I said, all I've tried is the jigs. I know there's other, other, other lures that bass will go for. So I want to try some other things out. But um, tight lines, everybody. I'll see you next time.